Hi guys, and welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, I am going to be sharing with you guys what I do every year when the kids get off the bus on the last day of school. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and I show you my messes and I give you my confessions as I talk about how I struggle with hoarding and we slowly clean it out. But this episode is a little different because I wanted to share uh, things that are very special to me. You guys have always seen my hoarding messes. You guys have seen me explain my heart, how I struggle. And this time I'm going to show you stuff that I love, love, love doing, which is things for the kids, which explains why most of my hoard is kids, fun, childhood things. Now for the last day of school, I make a big stink. I mean a big stink. <laughs> I decorate the whole outside. I have gifts and presents, like fun summer stuff, waiting for them to, when they get off the bus, I spray them with silly string, and I just wanted to share that part of my life with you guys. But with this episode, what I wanna do is, I kinda of wanna focus on using things I already have. Now, I kinda of did already buy them something, <laughs> something big, but, after I had bought it, I realized, no, you're cleaning out. You sorted all this. We have so much stuff that I can just reuse stuff that I already have. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have this bin right here, right? We had just cleaned it out from this section over here. And I have a bunch of stuff that I can use already, like this kite. And I could put glow sticks for them and even like the frisbees and I can just have this ready outside for them as soon as they get off the bus and I was thinking what container can I put them in oh this right here I can just set it all in this container and have it all ready outside and I just um let me see I also have to look for my uh, chalk sidewalk chalk because I know I have it because I always draw in the in the driveway and make like this beautiful like summer scene <laughs> so I have to find that too because I don't want to buy more stuff when Lord knows it's already in this mess <laughs> okay so that's what I got in this bucket so far but I know I know there is so much more stuff see I knew it do you see that there's a water balloon thing in there see I can pull that out what else? Like, there's so much stuff. If I was just organized, <laughs> I probably would not have to buy anything for the longest time. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll dig lightly through here and see if I can find any other, like, really cool things. Like, uh, there's, bags, there's bags of such random stuff. I know I have squirreled in here a couple of cool, like, summer things. Okay, so as I'm looking for things, um, I kind of hope you guys don't mind that I just, I didn't do a cleaning video this week just because I needed a break, right? Because doing this, I'm so proud that I did the whole thing, but it was so mentally exhausting for me that I kind of pushed myself I'm glad I did it, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I did it all. But it was so mentally exhausting and I pushed myself too much that I just kind of needed a brain reset this week. So that's why I was kind of happy to like, yeah, let's go do a video about things I love, re-energize me, recharge me, reset my mind so that next week I can do a really good cleaning video because I kind of know what I want to do. I think I'm definitely going to do this but there's something else that I want to do, like a little cling with me. Um, but yeah, that's just working in my mind. But yes, let's continue searching. I just wanted to let you guys know that. In the garage, there are fireworks. Yes, some old, yes. Let me see, some old, oh look, sparklers. Okay, some old fireworks. I can stick that in there <laughs> for summer fun. Um, I don't know how much I really wanna put 
color than sparklers because this is like daddy's department. I think I'll put the sparklers in there for now. But I don't think anything else is squirreled away in this garage. Uh, no, let's go back in the laundry room. Okay, so I found two finger paints in here in that box that was right there. So uh, what I can do is I'll just take the two finger paints out, put it in that bucket and I can toss this. Now, in case you're realizing, cause I feel like I'm jumping around a lot in this video, is because that's how my mind kind of works. What you're seeing is how my mind is always thinking. I am constantly jumping around. My mind is like to the next, to the next, to the next. If you guys ever seen like, you know, the New York Stock Exchange ticker, right? The stock market ticker, how it just goes. <laughs> That's my mind. It's continually going. But I think what I'll do is, I think I'm doing good because look at what I got. I got this and then this little bucket. I mean, look, I did good. I think this is good for when they get off the bus, when they see this coming off and then they're gonna have, and I'll show you in a little bit, the two things I did buy, I couldn't help myself, but they're gonna be ecstatic. Okay, so unfortunately for the last day of school, it's gonna be rainy and stormy all in the morning and then hopefully by the time the bus comes back, I can set up stuff outside, but not like how I like to. But look, right in here, I'm gonna do it now. I have the window paint markers. I think I had these, I used these definitely last year and maybe the year before, but I'm glad that I remembered that I kept them right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write right now while it's still sunny and use them. All right, I got it all filled out. So it says shout, cheer, Summer's here, so that's on top of our garage door. Now, I normally do do this like the day of when they're in school on their last day of school, but again, unfortunately, it's gonna be raining in the morning, so I figured I had to do it the night before, but yep, I've done this every year since they were in, uh, since my oldest was in kindergarten. All right, guys, let's go into the basement because, because I've been sorting, I have an idea. See the streamers? Okay, I put them in here because I've been sorting, right? What I'm gonna do is, I think I'll use yellow and maybe red. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hang them from the front door. So that way they can like go in through the streamers. So woohoo, I like this being organized stuff. Oh wait, look, here's more stuff. Oh my gosh. There's even more things that I could have put in that bucket. Well, I mean, we're good. I got that bucket pretty nice and full now. But maybe, oh, I should put like a thing of bubbles in there. See? Oh, I'm now I'm looking forward to being organized because then I'll know when things are because they'll be in their categories. <laughs> so today is the official last day of school. So it downpoured this morning. Like everything was just soaking wet downpouring and around like 9 30 it kind of like cleared up right now it's 10 30 in the morning the bus will get here around mm, like 12 45. now i'm really hoping it stays like this so i can have everything set outside ready for them when they get off the bus i don't know it looks like it's starting to dry a little bit where i can do sidewalk chalk Maybe not as detailed, but I'm really hoping that it stays dry. All right, let me share this with you really quick. Look, there is what I ended up buying them. Yes, I bought something. <laughs> I bought this a few weeks ago. I thought, how fun was this at Walmart to have them when they get off the bus, they can see that ready for them. So on this part of the, this little segment, I'm gonna share um, a little a couple things about myself in the sense of, Yes, you can kind of see why I accumulate so many kids' things because I love to buy them. It makes me happy. It makes me happy to think of the memories I'm going to have with my children. And um, I tend to go a little overboard with things, but it brings me so much enjoyment. But the lesson learned here is that I don't have to buy new things to have my children have a wonderful time. You know, I can use things in the house. I can create free and frugal things like I used to before I was working. Once I started working more, which I've been working so much, um, I started buying more. And I want to kind of lead into this because I've been working so much. Guess what happened in the living room? Piles. Piles. 
this represents me working so much till five, well, working till five, sometimes not getting home till 530. And then rushing them to baseball or swim practice and me having to grab something and buy something. And I'm literally just throwing it on the floor because I'm in such a rush and then go to their sport and their game. By the time they come home, they, um, I got to make something quick to eat. Sometimes it's late. Sometimes it's, you know, I, I'm trying to hurry up and feed them something. And by the time that happens, if any homework needs to get done, it gets done. Take a shower, get ready for bed. And now it's 9, 9.30. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. And the last thing I want to do is open up the bags and put them in where they need to go. Uh, also in here, the table, the another catch-all. The living room, of course, is the catch-all. So this is a habit that I'm just as something that I'm going to have to explore this summer and try and stop these habits because this is what starts the hoard and I do it all the time. Oh, God has answered. The sun is trying to peek out. It's a little after 11 o'clock. All right, I got it drawn out. The sky is looking good. I hope it holds. I hope it holds for at least till they get off the bus, but I have it all written out. Schools out for summer. So I have all that ready to go for them. And then I'm gonna go now get their things and set it up right out here for when they come home. All right, guys, I got it officially set up for when they're gonna get off the bus. I got my schools out for summer. I'm so thankful that the sun came out now. As soon as they get off the bus, I have their silly string ready to go. Uh, that way, um, they, as soon as they get off, they can shake it up and spray us because I have ours right over here. Here's our silly string. And then I have the Bluetooth set up to play um, Schools Out for Summer from Alice Cooper. I wish I could play it, but I don't want to be um, hit with any kind of copyright videos <laughs> or ha copyright infringements on my video. And then right over there, I got some of the streamers. And of course, uh, well, my cars are in the way, but of course I have the, um, I already have like the shout cheer. Uh, summer's here on the garage windows. Here's their little setup. So I got the water balloon or water guns ready. And then there was another one of those things in the shed that we used from last year. So I just popped it out and happy to say that things that are in this basket are things that we already had. So I didn't spend any money except for the water guns. I did spend money on that, but um, I'm just glad that I'm being more mindful because, you know, I want to continue that I just use things that I have since I have so much instead of buying more stuff. Yeah, guys, I got this ready to go, ready to set up, and this is stuff that I absolutely love to do. This is what I love to do because um, just doing things with the kids, especially I make a big celebration out of the last day of school because it symbolizes that it's my time with them. They're home with mommy, you know, and this symbolizes my time that we get to create new memories and have fun together. So, woo, I'm excited. Right, guys, the aftermath is done. I made a mistake in recording. I thought I pushed record and it messed up. It didn't record, so I recorded a little after, but it was too much. But um, I didn't want to get my kids in the video, but the aftermath is done. I asked them to just scooch out for a little bit so I could vid video record real quick so that they couldn't uh, be in the video because I'm still not ready to show my kids or myself yet to the world. But yeah, guys, that is it. I was gonna say it is time for summer. Summer has officially begun. We're excited for it. It's amazing. And guys, I just wanted to share this side of me. This is what I love to do. I love doing stuff for the kids. And it's just this, just, uh, I'm sorry. I'm at a loss for words because I love this. This is me. This is my personality doing things for my kids. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.